Welcome back our fans. Assyria Civilization Assyria was an ancient civilization that originated in northern Iraq in the 2nd millennium BC. Assyria was a militarily powerful civilization and was the first to establish an empire in Mesopotamia. The Assyrian civilization emerged around the city of Ashur, which became its capital. The Assyrians were a Semitic-speaking people and their civilization was one of the earliest in Mesopotamia. The early Assyrian period was marked by a series of city-states gradually coming under the control of a single ruler. During the Old Assyrian period, 20th-18th century BC, the Assyrians established trade networks across the region, controlling lucrative resources such as tin from Afghanistan and silver from Anatolia. In the Middle Assyrian period, 14th-11th century BC, the Assyrian Empire expanded its territory, conquering neighboring regions such as Babylonia, Elam, and parts of Iran and Anatolia. During this time, the capital was moved to the city of dur sharikin and later to Nineveh. The Assyrians were known for their military prowess and used innovative warfare techniques like siege warfare and chariots. They also had a well-organized army, with soldiers divided into different units and equipped with advanced weaponry. The Assyrians built impressive cities and palaces, decorated with intricate stone reliefs depicting scenes of warfare, hunting, and religious rituals. They were also known for their advancements in irrigation systems and agricultural techniques. The Assyrian Empire reached its peak during the Neo-Assyrian period, 9th-7th century BC, under rulers such as Ashurnasirpal II, Tiglath-Pileser III, and Sargon II. The empire extended its control over a vast territory, including Egypt, Palestine, and parts of present-day Iran, Jordan, and Lebanon. Despite their military might, the Assyrians faced several revolts and rebellions from their conquered territories. The empire eventually collapsed in the 7th century BC due to a series of factors, including internal strife and external invasions by the Babylonians and the Medes. The Assyrian civilization left a lasting impact on the region particularly in terms of military tactics, administrative systems, and architectural styles. Their vast library in Nineveh, which contained thousands of cuneiform tablets, has provided valuable insights into the history and culture of Mesopotamia. Overall, the Assyrian civilization was a significant power in Persian civilization. Persia was an ancient civilization that originated in Iran in the first millennium BC. The Persians conquered Mesopotamia in the 6th century BC, establishing a large empire that stretched from Egypt to India. The Persian civilization, also known as the Achaemenid Empire, was founded by Cyrus the Great in 550 BC. Under his rule, Persia expanded rapidly, conquering the Neo-Babylonian Empire in 539 BC and incorporating it into the Achaemenid Empire. The Persians were known for their effective military strategies and innovative administration. Cyrus and his successors implemented a system of satrapies, where local governors called satraps were appointed to govern various regions. This decentralized governance helped maintain control over the vast empire. One of the most famous Persian emperors was Darius I, who further expanded the empire and established a complex system of roads and a common currency. This allowed for efficient communication and trade across the empire. Despite their imperial conquests, the Persians were relatively tolerant rulers. They allowed their subjects to practice their own religions, languages, and cultural traditions. This policy of tolerance played a significant role in maintaining stability within the empire. The Persian civilization also made significant contributions to architecture. The most famous example is the city of Persepolis, which served as the ceremonial capital and showcased the empire's grandeur and opulence. The city was adorned with intricately carved reliefs and massive stone columns. However, the Persian Empire faced its downfall in 331 BC when it was conquered by Alexander the Great. Nevertheless, the Persian civilization left behind a lasting legacy in terms of administrative structures, cultural practices, and historical significance. Today, the Persian civilization is still celebrated in Iran and the wider region. The Persian language and culture continue to thrive, and the remnants of ancient Persian architecture attract tourists from around the world. Civilization of Islam Islam entered Iraq in the 7th century AD, and Iraq soon became the center of Islamic civilization. Science, arts, and literature flourished in Iraq in the Islamic era, and Baghdad became the capital of the Islamic Caliphate. 
During this period, Baghdad became a bustling center of trade, education, and intellectual pursuits. The House of Wisdom, established in the 8th century, attracted scholars from all over the Islamic world and beyond. This institution played a crucial role in the translation and preservation of scientific and philosophical works from ancient Greece, Persia, India, and other civilizations. Muslim scholars made significant advancements in various fields, including mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and optics. Scholars like Al-Khwarizmi, known as the father of algebra, made groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, while Ibn al-Haytam's work in optics laid the foundation for modern understanding of light and vision. Additionally, physician and polymath Ibn Sina, Avicenna, wrote extensively on medicine and compiled an influential medical encyclopedia, the canon of medicine. Islamic civilization also excelled in the arts and literature. Arabic became a common language for scholars and poets, and Baghdad became a hub for literary and cultural activities. Renowned poets like al mutain Abi and Abu Nuwas left a lasting impact on Arabic poetry with their eloquent verses. Arabic calligraphy became highly esteemed as an art form, and Islamic architecture witnessed impressive developments with iconic structures like the Great Mosque of Samarra and the al mustanziriya School. This period also witnessed the preservation and translation of many classical works in philosophy, science, and literature. Greek works by philosophers like Aristotle and Plato were translated into Arabic, preserving them for future generations and influencing Islamic scholarship. The prosperity and intellectual richness of the Islamic Golden Age in Iraq gradually declined due to various factors, including political instability, invasion by the Mongols in the 13th century, and subsequent conflicts. However, the contributions made by Islamic scholars and the advancements achieved in Iraq during this era continue to shape our modern understanding in various fields. Thanks for watching. Support us by likes and subscribes.